Oh, hello. Give me your tired. You're poor. Your huddled mass is yearning to wheeze free, for you are at the golden door of Wheezy Industries, where we toil betwixt the hours of 12 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. We take a minute off to pee. In order to gather the fruits of knowledge scattered across the info wasteland, meld them into a delectable sagacious sorbet, and deliver it to you in a Tupperware of love. Welcome to Wheezy Waiter. So, beard lovers, Wednesdays have always been that weird third cousin at a family gathering. You don't really care about them, they're just kind of there, and they always eat all the cheese dip. Wednesdays always eat all the cheese dip. Well, we here at Wheezy Industries have concocted a plan to turn that Wednesday upside den's day by scouring the four corners of my desk where I use my internet and finding and delivering explosive news. We dubbed this plan Explosion Wednesday. Hopefully it catches fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We're just testing it out. Anyway, first story. Ballistic missile test conducted off Hawaii coast, Usmada confirms. That's right. Since North Korea is behaving like your fourth cousin at a family gathering, the Usmada, U.S. Military Defense Agency, is polishing its chops at the old shoot a missile out of the sky party game. Fun for the whole family. Up through third cousins. See, here's a picture of what they did. It's pretty. Look at that pretty, pretty picture of nuclear war. <laughs> Apparently they were successful at shooting a missile down off the Hawaiian coast. Looks like we're poised to defend ourselves. <laughs> Anyone? Poised? Poi? The traditional Hawaiian dish of viscous consistency made from the stem of the taro plant? <laughs> <laughs> that guy gets it. The rest of you hate it. Okay, yeah. That's fair. Now on to sports news. Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers had an explosion of hair above his mouth. Apparently it's common for Aaron Rodgers to experiment with facial hair during the preseason. When asked for comment, I said, this is wonderful. More facial hair is always the right choice. Moving on. Why Apple's next product launch will be its biggest in years. This year, Apple is expected to unveil three new iPhones, according to the Wall Street Journal. They're also showing off the new iWatch that can send texts, emails, and make calls without using the accompanying phone. At last, we have ended the tyranny of having to fondle our pockets for our phones every time we want to send a text. Some of us might be fondling a little too long. Fellas, just get that phone out of your pocket. You know who you are, Carl. Now, thanks to the iWatch, all I have to do is go like this. Although this could probably get tiring after a little while too. May I offer a suggestion? Hey, Tim Cook. Wait, let me check. Tim Cook. Tim Cook. Tim Cook. Listen, I got an idea. How about an eye belt? Then all you gotta do is just look down at your crotch when you want to send a text to someone, like your mom or whatever. Happy birthday, mom! Exclamation point. Send. Or if you want to check up on an unemployed friend. Hey dude, you still not working? Send. Or the status of inclement weather. How hard is it coming down right now? Tim, if you're interested, I'd love to talk further. Let's make next year's keynote a technological explosion on everyone's pants. In other news, hand grenade from nearly 100 years ago destroyed in controlled explosion near American Embassy during maintenance work in South Dublin in an area called Balls Bridge. <laughs> It's funny because balls would not make a good bridge. Have you ever tried to walk across a ball pit? Impossible, unless you're some sort of Chuck E. Cheese Jesus. Chuck E. Cheeses? Someone came across a hand grenade from the War of Independence, which was from 1919 to 1921. The Army Bomb Disposal Team was called in to make a controlled explosion. I found a video, let's watch it. That was like one frame of explosion. Let's Hollywood it up a little bit. That's probably more accurate. Thanks for watching, beard lovers. I hope your Wednesday has now satisfactorily exploded. Here's my previous video, and if you'd like to support me, here's Patreon over here. Still linking to those charities, helping those affected by Hurricane Harvey. Also, that fundraiser for f***ing space is still going on, and they still need help. It's that web series I'm in that my friends started years ago that we are finally now gonna complete. One more thing, you're beautiful.